Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. And hello, happy birthday to me. <laughs> you guys, I am filming this on my birthday. And thank you so much, you guys were so sweet um, a week ago when I was like, yay to August and it's my birthday month and you guys were just like flooding the comments with birthday wishes. So I really appreciate it. Yes, I pander, I pander to birthday wishes. <laughs> I want them all. <laughs> Two things I'm gonna share. Okay, one, when someone says to you, happy birthday, and then you're like, you too. And then you're like, oh God, it's not Merry Christmas. Um, or you're with someone or they call you or you are, in like you're in someone's company of space they know it's your birthday and they don't say anything and then like further into the conversation they're like oh yeah and uh happy birthday and you're like <laughs> i am i'm a person that if i know it's your birthday i'm like happy birthday you know, I'm like Kristen Wiig, excited target lady when it comes to birthdays. So based on the title of this and the thumbnail, this is a Sephora haul that I treated myself to. I ordered what I wanted, not because of, but without like going, hmm, is that, is that cost effective? You know, it was kind of like, I have this much money and I'm spending it and I don't care if it's just all on $300 of perfume. No, I would never do that. Okay, but I am going to give a slight little sidebar slash, this is also part of my like luxury birthday haul, but it's the Wayne Goss palette and it's from Beautylish. So I wanted to quickly show it to you. I'm wearing it on my eyes and I will feature this in its own video. Um, there's a lot of love for this palette going around and thank you Wayne for creating this. Thank you Beautylish for carrying it. Here it is. This is called the Imperial Topaz palette. Uh, yeah, luxury palette, luxury eye palette, Imperial Topaz. You don't typically get an eyeshadow palette that one, this is this, the pans are this size and two, that there is that much in it. So it's not just, oh look, they're this size. It's like, oh wow, you are going to get a lot of product. And he made them big so that you could use any brush size pretty much you wanted in it. And, um, and yeah, just to be, you know, it's $55, but this, if this is part of your kit, it is definitely worth the investment. Um, I'm wearing it and it's beautiful. Yes, I have color stories similar to this in other palettes. Um, I get that. I totally understand. I mean, I could dupe this for you, but I thought if you want a luxury palette, if you want to support Wayne, if this is something that you think you might be interested in, yeah. And I thought it would be sold out and it hasn't sold out yet. So this is phenomenal in my opinion. I'll create some looks with it or at least I'll show you how I created this look, but great palette, great. And he definitely is planning on launching other palettes. And just as a kind of sidebar FYI, part of my birthday haul that just didn't come in terms of luxury or kind of like bought what I wanted, I did pick up the Mel Thompson, the um, Sydney Grace and Mel collab, what is it called, Little Wonders? Um, I picked, I ordered that, and then I did order a palette on the Menagerie Cosmetics website, which I didn't realize, they are here in Washington, and it is like a, I, I think it's called the Roar palette, or the, but it has like, it's got a lion on it, and it's, it's very much this color scheme, so I was like, yes. All right. So when those, oh, and I put in an order to Range Beauty for foundation, share those for you and review them on their own time. But I was hoping everything would be here. It, it wasn't. I didn't buy any palettes from Sephora. I bought other kind of makeup items and I definitely bought ones that I've been like lusting after but felt like I had no business buying and then I kind of said, it's my birthday, I'm buying it. Speaking of expensive, <laughs> I got the Hourglass setting mist. 
<laughs> so it's pretty cool. This is called Soft Focus Setting Spray Veil. It's four ounces. I think it feels so generous. The feedback on this has been that people love it. It's beautiful. Think people like Stephanie Marie and Mel and who else? Honest Beauty Review, didn't Lauren like? Yeah, so people love it. And it's a soft focus setting spray. I think I love it. You gotta know that when this came, I took it out of the package and sprayed my face with it. So it doesn't, it's like it's aerosol, but it's not. It doesn't have a bead. I expected to hear a bead. There's no bead. Um, and it's got this mister that people say is so fine and soft that you don't even feel the product on your face. I, yeah, I, I can see that, but no, I feel it. I, I feel it, okay. So you can really go overboard, but that was just a, a little spritz and we'll, uh, we'll see, okay? But. As far as I can tell, I didn't see any ingredients in here that could be problematic. And I was so happy when I saw that it looked fragrance-free and alcohol-free because I want a setting spray that's beautiful and amazing, but that's not got stuff in it. Okay, next is the Pat McGrath mis Mascara. This is the Dark Star Mascara, and I also dug into this. This is beautiful. I love the the original mascara, the fetish eyes, and I like it because if you have been around, you know I like dramatic mascaras, not necessarily clumpy, that, but that are thick and have tons of pigment, just lots thick, you know, you can just really coat the lashes. I am not shy with mascara. I want, I think so. I want a dramatic mascara. So here is the brush and it's, you know, it's got a great bristle. It's got the kind of indentation and it's more of a brush. It's that bristly brush wand versus like plastic and, you know, with the pokey things. <laughs> and it's um, a very pigmented formula. Uh, it's beautiful. It catches all the little hairs. It's kind of curling slightly. It's volumizing. Lengthening, yes, but not crazy length. But overall, fabulous mascara, and I've heard it dries out quickly. <laughs> Like, I didn't get any flaking, but I mean, like, it dries in the tube. So I think that's the the Pat McGrath, the first one. Love, love, love. But wow, that is a mascara that you have to replace. It doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. Um, yeah. Um, I did pick up my Rouge birthday gift, and I picked the, ooh, see, look at the setting spray so far. This one, oh, it's dry, but see, now you can see. It's got a sheen, kind of a Charlie sheen, maybe a Martin sheen. It's sheeny. Okay, I picked up the Hourglass uh, Rouge birthday gift. This is the Veil Mineral Primer. Um, this is good stuff. I am, it's lovely. I usually go cheaper for primers. <laughs> and then this is their, their setting powder, which is beautiful. Also, Veil. So, translucent setting powder. I've had this before. It's lovely. Every time there's like one of these sizes that I can get for free, I get it. So contradiction of myself, number 45 probably, because like I do that all the time. Just just go with it. Um, I don't want to spend that much on primer. And she buys a Tatcha primer. I blame Britt Clark for this. Um, if you don't follow Britt, follow her. She's, uh, if you're okay, with some sassiness and swearing. If you're not okay with swearing, don't go over there and then be like, um, I don't think I like swear words. <laughs> okay, one time I said something on Instagram because I was, I was having such a bad day and I put it in my Instagram caption and someone was like, oh gosh, Rebecca, um, I, I am shocked to see a swear word and I'm gonna unfollow you and I'm like, I'm complaining about how awful things are right now. 
and this is the battle you're gonna okay back to tatcha the silk liquid canvas the liquid silk canvas primer in a baby size um so this has been getting rave reviews from folks and it's a bit tricky for me because it is got some ingredients that have a uh, fragrance. Um, Tatcha's beautiful. Uh, things, they are very conscientious of the ingredients they put, even the fragrant ingredients they put in their products, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to trigger a response on my skin. So I proceeded with caution and I wanted to try this. Um, it's a protective primer for all skin types and it seems very nice. It's, it's very silky, it's very nice. So we shall see. All right, you guys, two more mascaras. Actually, I have one more. Okay, hang on. There's a couple more mascaras. Ilya, this is their Limitless Lash Mascara. I am going to do an entire video dedicated to these new mascaras, these high-end new mascaras, so you can just see them for yourself. I'm kind of obsessed right now. Yes, I have my OG drugstore ones, and some of those beat high-end ones, but I'm still on the hunt, because you never know, right? And it's my job. So Ilya, beautiful. This is a very interesting mascara. So this is the bristle wand and it's got the hard, the hard pokey bristles and it is so lengthening. And it's, it's a very, it catches all the little hairs and it's pretty great. Um, very, it's very different than the Pat McGrath, but it's still, it's still really nice. This mascara is the new Bare Minerals Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. And you guys, I have yet to figure out what I think of this. I tried it and this might be one of those that needs to dry out for a week or two because it is such a wet formula. The brush is a very different brush. As you can see, it's kind of a paddle. You've got bristles on one side it's curved, you don't have any bristles here. Obviously, because it's the name of the formula, it is intended to help fortify your lashes and you know, all that good stuff. Now, I feel like the, the, the plus side of this mascara is intense pigment, like black, like it's such a good black, black mascara. Um, lengthening, curling, but if you go like two coats, three coats, it starts to pile on top of itself. And then it's like, you know, and you've got these giant spider lashes. And I was like, oh shoot. And then it didn't dry. And so, yeah. And then I got the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. This is their high coverage multi-use concealer, 24 hour claim. And I got the shade 2.3, which I think I picked a good shade. Now, the cool thing about this is you get 0.3 ounces. And I feel like anytime you get a concealer that's 0.3 ounces, that's pretty generous. So Pat McGrath, which I love, um, only uh, 0.1. 5 mLs. This is 9 mLs. And I think I like it. Like, I have yet to kind of really give it a full wear test, but we'll see. Okay. You guys, this package just arrived. Who's ever seen a Sephora box like this? Hmm? Is this my publisher's Clearinghouse CD collection from 1993? Wait till you see what's in here. <laughs> She's excited. Okay, are you ready? This is what, this is what I got myself for my birthday. I got the Patrick Ta three items, the lipstick, lip liner, and blush, all in the coral orangey red shade. So this is, she's not from here. She's not from here. 
And then this one is, do we know her? <laughs> I was watching some of the videos on the Sephora website of Patrick applying it to the model. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. And he believes in monochromatic looks. And so I'm like, this is what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to put this on right here, right now. Uh, before I do that though, I will show you the other things in this box. Just the other two things are, I did get, this as a sample. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak. I cannot wait to try it. That is very different. That is very different. Okay then. And the Urban, De the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Dewy Grip 12 Hour Wear. This sounded really good. And see if I like it. We want a grip, we want dewy. Yes. All right. Here she comes. Little bit of blush, little bit of lip for my birthday. Alrighty, real quick. All right, let's do this. So these pencils, um, it's kind of great that they click, but also don't overdo it because once you click it out, it ain't coming back in. You know, I'll see how I look like the model on the Sephora website. <clears throat> Hush. If you think this is going to look weird with my because I think I'm more, I'm like neutral to cool. So maybe a cool red looks more suited. I don't know, but I love corals. So yeah, but I was going to say, if you think this doesn't quite mesh yet, I say, wait until I put the blush on. <gasps> oh, golly. Yeah. Okay, so this is the cream and the powder. And so the way he demonstrates it, and got my fingerprints all over it. The way he demonstrates it is, wow, this packaging is probably not environmentally friendly. Oh, 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 that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, here she is close up. It's subtle, it's beautiful. It works over the setting powder, I mean spray. There's some things, okay, so I thought this is not gonna be a big deal. You guys, I have plenty of blush, but there is something special about this blush. It, um, it's sheer and yet, Hmm, you can see it. Oh. Then you put the cream blush over the powder. I mean, you can do it any way you want. Oh, I get it. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. I see why people love this. Because there's, I have like a little blemish right there. Let's do it on this side close up because it doesn't mess your makeup. I mean, are there other brands that are this good? Yes, but, oh, I'm such a sweet blushy girl. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. Alrighty guys, that is everything. It was a bit large. It was a bit expensive. I get it. I get it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, how about make my birthday dreams come true and subscribe? That'd be nice.
Also follow me on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up. Oh yes, look at me go. I will leave everything in the description box. Um, yeah, so if you wanna spend your own money on stuff, yes, I mean, okay. I'm gonna stop looking at myself. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much for supporting my channel. I hope you're well and I will see you next time, bye.